Three years ago, I bought a Corvette C6, and not too long after ownership, I decided I was gonna do full Boltons, and not too long after that, I decided, man, I am not making enough power. I'm going twin turbo. Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about adding a turbo to your Corvette C6. I've went down the rabbit hole, man. Let's talk about it. All right, so you may ask, why a turbo? Why a twin turbo on a Corvette over a supercharger? And there's a couple reasons why. Biggest reason, in my opinion, for a twin turbo kit or single turbo kit is the ability to make just crazy power. Now, if you go with a Pro Charger or something like that on your Corvette C6, you can still make four digit numbers, don't get me wrong. But if you go with a twin turbo or a turbo setup, you can make more power a little easier. And I, I think that the twin turbo setup is really the best option on the Corvette C6. So at the end of the day, if you're gonna add turbos on your Corvette, it's all about adding power. It's all about getting that turbo sound. Here's the thing, it is not easy to add a turbo or a single or a twin turbo kit to your Corvette C6. There's a couple kits that you can buy for it or you can do a custom turbo kit, but it's not the easiest thing in the world. There's not a lot of room in the hood, like a lot of cars, to, you know, a Camaro or a Mustang or anything like that where you can fit a turbo up there. A lot of guys that do a custom turbo kit on their Corvette C6, they have to do an electric water pump. They have to rework the belt. They have to do a couple little things usually if they're going to do a top mount of turbo kit. They have to flip the exhaust around. It's not an easy job, but it can definitely be done. And it looks super, super sick when it's done, but there's a lot of custom fab work. So if you don't know a welder, doing a custom turbo kit is gonna be pretty challenging. Now, like I said, there's a couple companies that make turbo kits and I think the best company in the company I'm gonna talk about in this video is the twin turbo kit that I have on my Corvette C6 and that's made by UPP Under Pressure Performance. Under Pressure Performance, they sell a nice twin turbo kit and I'm gonna be honest, the guys at UPP are super helpful as long as you can get a hold of them. They're super busy over there so they're a little tricky to get a hold of but if you can get them on the phone, they're extremely, extremely helpful and I know several guys running this UPP twin turbo kit on their Corvette C6 and truly when I got the twin turbo kit on my Corvette C6, got the attention from a lot of guys in the local scene here in Atlanta. And there's a couple other Corvette guys that got the twin turbo kit and they're putting it on their vets as well. Now, I think the best thing about something like the UPP twin turbo kit compared to like doing, you know, a custom fab turbo kit is that the UPP kit, the fitment is pretty solid. It really is. Now the install on the UPP kit is probably around 20 hours or so, 20 to 30 hours. So it's a little bit of an install, but it's a really, really nice kit. You don't have to do a lot of cutting, a lot of custom customization really but overall the fitment is pretty solid and like i said earlier turbo kits generally are going to be a little bit more expensive but you can make a little bit more power and if, like i said if you get some big pro charger you're going to make great numbers but you're going to spend a lot of money on that unit as well and one thing i love about turbos is just the sound and how much they surprise you when you hear turbos or a turbo on a twin turbo corvette or a corvette in general you know now if you look at a kit like from upp you're going to need a couple things and upp has the kit that comes together you get the turbos you get the intercooler you get the old feed lines. You get everything you need to get the kit installed. And it's a pretty solid kit overall. When you're looking at turbo sizes, I would not go smaller than, I'd say really probably 62 millimeter. You know, you don't want to over turbo it. If you're running a twin turbo kit on an LS2, LS3, I probably wouldn't run 76 millimeter turbos. You probably can if you've got a Z06 and the 427, you've got a beast of a motor. But if you got a little LS2, LS3, I'd probably do like some 68 millimeter, maybe even some 62 millimeter. You know, do some billet ball bearing turbos so they spool it super quickly and you're going to be in business, man. And when we're talking about spooling up, that is the biggest downfall about turbos is really the turbo lag. I've la raced a couple guys with some superchargers, some Z01, some Z06s that make really some super good power. And I'm going to be honest, initially they're a little intimidating because they jump hard. But to be honest, my C6 with the twin turbos, with the billet ball bearing turbos, that baby spools up almost immediately, especially with the boost controller, which is another thing you've got to get to maintain boost or I should say manage boost. Boost. It helps so much. I can set boost by gear and it helps me hook and it's really the way to go if you've got a twin turbo kit. I recommend getting the boost leash boost controller or turbo kit. In my opinion, the best way to manage boost. But like I was saying, with the twin turbos or a turbo kit, there's a little bit of lag, but once those babies pick up, they are just to the moon with power and it feels just, they're so torquey, man. Turbos are really nice once they get into the power range. And if you get them in the power range quickly, they really will beat a lot of cars. Now, the biggest downfall about doing a turbo kit is just honestly, it comes down to price and fitment. You can slap a supercharger kit on your Corvette C6 pretty seamlessly for the most part, but a custom turbo kit or the twin turbo kit from UPP, like I talked about, it's going to take some work. You know, you're looking at 20 to 30 hours to get this kit on, and then you've got to have a boost controller, and then you've got to, you know, the tune, and you've got to tune it with the supercharger. But with turbos, it can be a little bit more challenging. You know, you've just got to get the right wastegate spring, and you've got to get the boost set up right. So it can take a little more tinkering with turbos or twin turbos, but to me, the power potential, and then 
when someone hears those turbos in a Corvette, it surprises them so much. And just seeing that surprise on their face makes it worth it to me as well. Now, like I said, the biggest downfall is just maintenance. You know, one thing I've had issues with mine is the scavenge pump. You know, the scavenge pump, I've had a couple issues where it stopped working. I was blowing all oil through the turbos, out the exhaust. I threw a, thought I blew a head gasket. And then one time the scavenge pump, it stopped working. And then one time it was leaking all. So I've had a couple issues with, with the scavenge pump. Another thing you've got to think about is an intercooler. I've got an intercooler made for 1300 horsepower. So a little bit bigger. With the UPP kit, they come with a basic intercooler that's probably good for about 800 horsepower or so. And that's really all you need. Now with the Corvette C6, you got to think if you're running an intercooler, it's going to block your radiator. So now you might have some airflow issues and it might run a little warmer than you typically like it to. So one thing I recommend if you're going to be out in power adder to your Corvette C6 is upgrading the coolant system, get a DeWitt's radiator. I would say if you've got the extra cash, get the electric fans with it as well. And that's really the way to go. The DeWitt's helps so much. I've got it in my Corvette C6. Now, once you get the turbo kit, you've got to think if you're going to be making over 500 horsepower wheel and you're going to be with the turbo kit, you've got to start thinking about a clutch or a torque converter, depending if you've got automatic or a manual. And then you've got to add fuel to that. So you're going to have to have a boost to pump, or I would recommend getting a four fuel system or, you know, just a drop in fuel pump of some kind. And then you've got to upgrade your fuel injector. So you've got fuel, you got to take care of the transmission. And after that, you should be pretty much good to go other than getting like a boost gauge. And like I said, the boost leash that I talked about earlier, but overall a turbo kit price wise, you're going to pay anywhere from $6,000 to $9,000 for your turbo kit. If you do a custom turbo kit, you can probably get a decent turbo from anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500. If you're running a single turbo, I'd run at least a 76 millimeter. If you're running twin turbos, I'd run at least 62 millimeters. Either way, you can probably get a turbo kit for as cheap as if you do it yourself from anywhere from probably $5,000. But if you buy one online and you get the turbo kit, you're probably looking at about seven, eight grand. With all the components, the fuel injector, fuel pump and all that, you're going to be getting close to honestly, probably around 12, 13 K if you buy the kit, you know, everything online and all that stuff. It is a little pricey, but you got to pay to play. Either way, man, I just want to shoot a quick video talking about turbos on the Corvette C6. If you're thinking about turbocharging your Corvette C6, just know it's going to be absolutely sick if you do, but there's a couple things, you know, get a good UPP kit. UPP, I think makes the best turbo kit or you and your buddy. If y'all can do some welding, you know, there's a couple videos online where some guys can do some really, really sick custom twin turbo kits and single turbo kits on the Corvette C6. But either way, I just want to talk about some of the things you should know if you're adding one. Appreciate you guys watching, man. If you're a fan of Corvettes, if you like BMWs, make sure you like, subscribe, man. We'll see you guys in the next one.